We're most likely gonna regret today's fishing trip, but it's the prime opportunity to be able to test the new kayak's maneuverability in high winds and in like narrow waterways. So we're gonna grab our gear, get out there, hit the Texas Gulf Coast, which is being battered by 22 plus mile an hour winds. I don't expect too much, but then you never know what's gonna happen. So uh, let's get out there and see what the new platform is capable of doing. Last cast right there, we're gonna move on. Just properly bounce the bottom throughout the entire area. Just a quick fan cast. Two lures should be more than sufficient. We covered our basis through every bit of the water column with two different looks. And if they're not gonna bite, then it's time to move on. We do have quite a bit of rain and our forecast so I don't want to spend too much time in one particular area I mean it's gonna take a lot of searching on our part to make a catch happen today today's video is sponsored by Catchco so check out what we have inside these two boxes there's an update I love using these right here it's the shimmer swimmer on the right side we've got the older um, like pattern and then right here are the new guys these have an upward tail so the paddle tail is also a lot wider just at first sight and it's uh, shortened by a quarter of an inch this is three and a half this is three and a quarter so we've got those in both sizes right there four and a quarter instead of four and a half so we're going to see how these guys work out. If you're interested in learning about these lures, I'm going to leave a link in my video description down below that'll take you to the Carl's website. You can do some research on these. And hopefully, if you decide to make a purchase, you'll also consider becoming a member at the Carl's website because that'll allow you to take advantage of all kinds of savings. The reading is down below in the video description. Check them out. Catch Code, thank you for sponsoring today's video. Let's get ourselves away from the bank. Now we can go ahead and full rudder left, continue heading towards a back lake area that in the past has been a likely area to be able to take advantage of a redfish or two. We're almost in the target area. I don't want to spook anything, so I'm going to stake myself out here really quick. And because we have two scupper holes that are exposed in the tank well that's not covered up by the crate, I can stake myself out back here. Pop that scupper plug, put that in. You gotta watch out too when you do something like that. <laughs> I almost flipped myself. So all I'm gonna do is fan cast in a rainbow fashion this entire area and then we'll continue moving on to the next uh, spot that I have had quite a bit of luck in the past. turn
the middle. That thump always feels so good. Right, so I don't want to blow anything up, so we're going to stake ourselves out right here. Oh my gosh. Beautiful looking redfish. Right inside the middle of the back lake, flooded marsh system. We make it happen. Perfect hook set right there. Gorgeous looking redfish. See you later, buddy. It's been tough, very tough. But then again, I kind of expected that. So uh, we'll keep pressing forward, see if we can uh, put some type of a pattern together. Of all places, I did not think I would get them in the center of the back lake, away from the grass line. Maybe we'll switch up our tactic until we catch another one. Who knows? Oh, it's a butterfly. Dang, I thought that was a redfish tail. It's orange and blackish in color. Looks just like a redfish tail. Stupid butterfly. Why are we moving? Oh, yes. Let's go, buddy. Come on, jump in the boat with me. Look at that tail right there. Beautiful. gonna need get our forceps there we go lost our plastic make sure it's not inside your mouth nope not inside his mouth nice great fight we'll see you later two redfish in the flooded marsh and they're inside the wide open. No luck against the grass line today. The wide open stuff is where they're coming from. We got one more paddle tail left. And uh, yeah, we're gonna use it. So it's one more of this particular kind, the new ones. We'll go back over to the older one since I have quite a few of those. These, I don't believe I'm able to order right now. So we'll have to make do with this last one. And if we get another redfish, well then, I mean, I think it's worth it. Something that's just nice and subtle, a natural color that matches the small little tiny brown crabs that I'm seeing. This looks 
very similar to it as far as the color goes. Now its profile just completely different. Looks like the actual bait fish, the finger mullet that we're watching out there. And there's really got to be something in here. I saw a back pop up right here at the entrance to this little flooded, I'm going to say it's a little back pond. And uh, I cast on it several times, but nothing. I'm about to go in there, though. Those fellas can still push back. So we're going to try to chase them down where they can't go any further. It's push-pull country. All right, it's not that I cannot use the pedal drive. It's plenty deep. I just cannot maneuver. I don't have uh, good turning ability with with the kayak, so we have to essentially use the push pole. There we go. We are in. It takes so long. All right, this is where I think it's going to happen. I've chased. What I believe is a redfish down into this area. There's only one entrance in, and that's where I saw him. His back came up out of the water. I don't think he went elsewhere, so I'm going to try our best to see if we can put this lure in front of his face, and hopefully he bites it. This is the end of the road, buddy. <laughs> if you're hiding over there, you have no choice but to look this thing in the eye and provide some big-time restraint to not bite it remember you got to eat to live and I live to eat we're not gonna eat you though I'll put you right back come on I know you're in here all right I'll let the wind do what it wants it's gonna blow me right into this and then it's gonna push my nose straight into the area that I'm just casting to. All right, buddy, come on. I know you gotta be in here. If you're not, well, shame on you because you made me waste my time. Oh my gosh, stupid wind. It didn't allow me ample opportunity to get another cast off. I was hoping that I'd track him down. Well, Shame on you, Mr. Redfish. All right, so let's turn around and get out of here. All right. There we go. Whew. Man, oh man, Mr. Redfish. We made it right back to the start and I think I proved to myself that you can make this platform work in the wind, still be able to have some control over it and have an opportunity to catch some fish. Um, I am formulating my own personal opinion as far as is it going to be the platform to me and this is only after three trips. But I'm going to save that for the end. So for a lot of y'all thinking that I'm basically doing a review as I go, yes, I am. But you cannot just prematurely make a statement about a kayak that hasn't allowed you or you haven't allowed it to experience every like possible scenario out here. Uh, for the most part, I predominantly fish very shallow waters like what I'm doing right now in the marsh and this was one of those trips that I didn't expect much I just wanted to see if it can maneuver and if I would be able to catch something and uh, again we just uh, proved that so I hope you enjoyed this one um, hopefully you did take a look at how it was that I was maneuvering the kayak and then my use of just drifting like a controlled drift 
to be able to get to where I need to go and then present a lure the way I need it to. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this one. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. Also, thank you Catchco for sponsoring today's video and keeping us out on the water. If you're interested, go down into the video description below, check out Carl, see if it's gonna be something for you. I purchase a lot of my tackle from them and I am able to save quite a bit of money. So if you're like me and you're able to get out on the water more than the average person, Carl's might be for you. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.